This is National 5 Design and Manufacture. And we're going to look at the people who influence design. And in this lesson, we'll meet um, a number of roles, a number of people who influence the design process. There's a couple of activities and exercises rolled in here as well. And towards the end of the presentation, we'll look at a model answer to a past paper question. So let's get started. In total, we're going to look at five people who influence the design process. We're going to look at the consumer, the designer, the marketing team, the manufacturer, and the retailer. All five of these have specialist and interconnected ways that they influence one another and the design process. As we go along here, a useful activity would be to pause the video and instead of simply writing down slides, create your notes as a spider diagram with the bullet points and other bits and pieces as well. There's a question at the foot of each slide asking you how this person may influence the rest of the design process. Have a think about that and see if you can come up with ways that they all interact with one another. Well, let's get started. The consumer is the first person that we're going to look at. And the consumer is you and I when we go out to buy something, anything, a bag of crisps, a new piece of furniture, an electric, an electric toothbrush. Anything at all, we go out, we buy something. We then use that thing and ultimately we will discard the product as well. So the consumer has an enormous influence on the rest of the design project because the consumer has wants and has needs and has a certain amount of money in their pocket that they're willing to spend on things. The consumer has to choose between competing goods as well. You know, there's not just one uh, new piece of furniture, but there's loads made by different manufacturers. So the consumer's needs and wants are really influential on what gets designed. And then we come to the designer, and it's the designer's job to try and come up with ideas and develop ideas that address the needs and the wants of the consumer. So the designer devises products which consumers want or need. The designer has to understand materials, and the designer has to understand factory process. In other words, he or she must know how to make the product that they wish to design. The designer has a massive influence on the rest of the design process. And as you can infer from those bullet points, the designer also has, from time to time, to talk to other people about materials and other people about manufacturing processes. Because the designer doesn't always claim to be an expert in all things. But they're very good at bringing all these different topics together and coming up with ideas for them. The marketing team uh, is... A group of people whose job it is, is to make sure that a product is promoted and sold. Okay, so the marketing team is really the team that ensures that the product is going to make money, it's going to make profits at the end of the day. And the marketing team will set prices. They will also do market research before, during and after a design project. The marketing team will go out and try and find out what consumers want and what they need. They'll try and find out how much money consumers are willing to spend on something. And then as the product is developed and released, the marketing team will go and figure out whether it was a popular product or who was buying it and what, what countries and things like that. So they do market research all the time. They also work with promotions and adverts and offers and things like that and also ensure that the products are released under a good, strong brand image because that too contributes towards maximising sales and profits. The manufacturer. The manufacturer's job, quite simply, is to make the product that has been researched by the team, wanted by the consumer, and designed by the designer. It's the manufacturer's job to buy in raw materials and components and all the little bits and pieces that are going to be needed in order to make the product. It's the manufacturer's job to set up production lines. And it's also the manufacturer's job to make sure that it goes inside packaging, it goes on lorries and trains, and it gets delivered to the next person, who may be the retailer. The retailer is essentially the shop owner. The retailer is the person who takes the product, puts it in their shop, sets the price of it, makes displays, tries to make it attractive to buy, and also, crucially, handles any returns as well. We've all gotten something which was found to be faulty, well, it's usually the retailer that handles the returns as well. There's another activity at this point. 
And what it asks you to imagine is that Apple are designing a new product. They're having a fairly typical design meeting and at that design meeting, some people have been invited around the table. A designer, marketing team, manufacturing, retailer. The activity asks you to draw the table with the four people sat around it. And then consider this to be the start of a spider diagram or a mind map. Write the skills and the qualities you'd expect each of them to have. And remember that a skill is something that someone can do. And a quality is something about their personality, their traits, their virtues, what they're good at. So, for example, the skills of a designer may be sketching, model making. The qualities of a designer may be attention to detail or a curious personality, something like that. Finally, we're going to look at a model answer, the roles within a design project. This is a fairly typical past paper question. The question goes as follows. Describe the role of the following people in a design project. The designer, the marketing team and the manufacturer. Well, the role simply means their job. What do they do in a design project? But the question for full marks is looking for more than that. The question is also looking for you to describe how they are interconnected as well. This question has six marks attached to it. It's reasonable for us to assume that we get two marks for describing each role and therefore for each role we have to make two different points. My answer is as follows. The designer's role in a design project is to devise projects that people want or need. He or she may conduct research before generating initial ideas and improving those ideas until they're ready to manufacture. So we've got two points in there. Okay, coming up with ideas, we've got researching as well, and we've got developing ideas as well, so you've got three points in there. The marketing team carry out market research to influence the design and sales of a product. They may also ensure that the product has a strong brand image. So that's the marketing team, and we've got two of the roles in there. Market research and developing a brand image. Finally, the last point is this. It's the manufacturer's role to make the product. As such, he or she may source materials and devise production lines. They are also responsible for packaging and delivering the product. And hopefully by reading that paragraph of an answer, you can realise that what I've done really is put the bullet points from the previous slides into sentence format. Have a go yourself. Why not try and describe the people who are not on that list? For example, the consumer and the retailer.